Hello and welcome to a video on estimating. Now in the previous few videos we've looked at what significant figures are, why we use them, uh, how to identify which uh, figures are significant and in the last video we looked at rounding to significant figures and we're going to apply that to estimating. So generally whenever you're estimating a calculation you will want to round each value in the calculation to one significant figure. Okay. So all of these questions here, you, you would be able to work these out, um, but it's a lot easier if we're estimating, especially if we don't have a calculator. So I'll go through a few examples with you and then I'll let you have a go at doing some yourself. So this first one here, 906 plus 397. Well, 906, if we round that to one significant figure, we'll be left with 900. And we're gonna add on, 397 rounded to one significant figure. Well, that is going to be 400. Okay, so we can say that 906 plus 397 is approximately equal to, and that is the symbol for approximately equal to, 900 plus 400. Well, 900 plus 400 is just 1,300. Okay, so our answer, although it's not the same as what we would do here, it's very close to what we would get here. Okay, um, so we would round each value to one significant figure. So this next one here, 44.34 plus 98.101. Well, that's going to be approximately equal to 44.34 rounded to one sig fig. Well, that is 40. And we're going to add on 98.101 rounded to one sig fig, which is 100. So it's going to be approximately equal to 40 plus 100, which is 140. Let's do the next one. So 1.79, that's approximately equal to 2. So we've just rounded up. As we look at the one to the right of that, that's greater than 5, so we'd round this up to a 2. And that is multiplied by 8,311. That would be rounded down to 8,000. So it's going to be approximately equal to 2 times 8,000, which is 1,600. Oh, not 1,600. 16,000, should I say. Okay, and then the last one, so this is going to be approximately equal to the numerator, that would be rounded to 4,000. And then the denominator, 9.8, that would be rounded to 10. And 51, that would be rounded down to 50. So we've got 4,000 divided by 10 times 50, that is 500. So what is 4,000 divided by 500? Well, we can... Divide the numerator and the denominator by 10. Just get rid of those two zeros. We can do exactly the same again. Divide by 10 and we're left with 40 divided by 5, which is 8. So our answer is 8. So notice how we did all of these calculations fairly quickly. Uh, and we just rounded each value to one significant figure. So I've got I'll for you to have a go at now. So exactly the same as before. I want you to estimate these seven calculations and remember round each value in the calculation to one significant figure. Okay, so let's go through this. So the first one, we can say that's approximately equal to 578, we would round that up to 600. And then 720, we would round that down to 700. So we've got 600 plus 700, which gives us 1,300. Okay, the next one, so it's going to be approximately equal to, this is going to round up to 2,000. And then we're going to subtract, this is going to be rounded up to 400. So 2,000 subtract 400 gives us 1,600. Okay, the next one, so approximately equal to 5.7, that would be rounded up to 6. And then multiplied by, this will be rounded down to 7. 6 multiplied by 7 gives us 42. Okay, this is fun. 48.55, that would be rounded up to 50. And then multiplied by, this would be rounded down to 5. And then this would be rounded up to 8. So we've got 50 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 8. Well, I'll do the 5 times 8 first. So this here, 5 times 8 is 40. So now we've just got 50 multiplied by 40 which is 2,000. Two yeah, 50 times 4 is 200, so 50 times 40 would be 2,000. Okay, this next one. This next one here, be really careful with the denominator. So this is going to be approximately equal to 
52, that would be rounded down to 50. 6.78, that would be rounded up to 7. Now, in the denominator, you may be tempted to say this would be rounded up to 1, but that would not be correct. Remember, any leading zeros are not counted as significant. So the 5 is our first significant figure. So we look to the one to the right of the 5, that is a 1, so this would be rounded down to 0 0.5. So the denominator would be 0 0.5. So let's just work this out. 50 multiplied by 7, that is 350 divided by 0 0.5. And this is just a half. Dividing by a half is the same as multiplying by 2. So this is just 350 multiplied by 2, which is 700. So the denominator here is probably where a few of you may have slipped up on. Okay, Just remembering that any leading zeros are not significant. So this next one. 42, that would be rounded down to 40, and 194, that would be rounded up to 200, divided by, this will be rounded down to 10, and 7.8 would be rounded up to 8. So we can do a bit of simplification here. 200 divided by 10 is 20, so I can just change that to a 20 and that to a 1, and then 40 divided by 8 is 5, so I can change that to a 5. Uh, and that to a 1, and now we've just got 5 times 20, which is 100. So this is going to be 100. So I did a bit of simplification before I multiplied across. Um, so however, however you did it is fine, uh, but the answer is 100. And then the last one, approximately equal to, this will be rounded down to 300. Multiplied by, this will be rounded up to 10. And we're going to divide by 0 0.6 okay and again this is not rounded up to 1 this would be rounded down to 0 0.6 so what is this 300 multiplied by 10 well that is 3000 okay divided by now 0 0.6 that is the same as 3 3 fifths okay just converting that to a fraction that's the same as 3 fifths so i'm just going to write 3 fifths here and now when we're, whenever we're dividing by a fraction that is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal so this is the same as 3000 multiplied by 5 over 3. Okay, Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the inverse or the reciprocal of that fraction. Okay, So 3,000 divided by 3, that's 1,000. So I can just cross that off and put 1,000. That'll just be a 1. So we've just got 1,000 multiplied by 5, which is 5,000. So just a few things uh, to finish off with. The first one uh, being that whenever you see any leading zeros, like in these two questions here, these are not counted as significant. Okay, The first significant figure will always be the first non-zero number. And the other thing was that in all of these questions we've looked at so far, we've rounded each value to one significant figure. Now, generally, you can think of that as a rule of thumb when we're estimating, but that won't always be the case. So let me just give you an example of sort of something where you wouldn't round to one significant figure. Let's say we had uh, 42.3 and we want to divide that by, I don't know, 7.1. OK, now if we were to round both of these values to one significant figure, then we'll be left with 40 divided by 7. Now, 40 divided by 7 is quite hard to do, especially in your head, uh, even writing it down. Um, you'd probably want, want a calculator for this. But instead, if, if instead of changing this to 40, if I change this to 42 divided by 7, now this is a much easier calculation. 42 is in the 7 times table. 42 divided by 7 is 6. OK, so it's much easier rounding to 42 than it is to 40. So generally, you would want to round to one significant figure when we're estimating, but that won't always be the case. Okay? In the next video, we'll do something similar, but this time we'll include some powers and some roots. See you then.